What's up guys, how are you doing? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And uh, it's a beautiful Thursday morning and uh, waking up this morning, I just discovered that Naramali sued Iyabo Ojo for defamation. Naramali is asking Iyabo Ojo to immediately apologize for defamating his character and accusing him wrongly over Moba's death. He said, if Iyabo Ojo failed, to apologize to him that he is going to ask for 500 million naira. It's either Iyabo Ojo apologizes publicly to him or pay 500 million ba. And that is coming from uh, Nara Mali. So I'm just going to read some of the uh, few lines from the defamation of, uh, of from, from his lawyer according to the headline to the to the heading of the law of the letter, they said real demand for the sum of 500 million naira as damage for the label falsely and malicious published of Aziz, of Aziz Fashola aka Naramali on your official Instagram handle. So according to the letter, I said we solicit, we are solicitor of Aziz Fashola, aka Daramali, an international renowned British and Nigeria singer artist with over 7 million followers, uh, referred to as our client, pursue to whose instruction we write concerning the above added subject matter. So let me just keep that and uh, go straight to the demands. Okay, let me check the demands. Okay, no one, 500 million naira being damaged for the label in respect of the word published of and concerning the uh, climate Aziz Fashola. Public apology, injunction, restraining the, def the defender by herself for servant or otherwise. However, from repeat the same or similar label published of our of of all consigning the, def uh, the defendant on your instagram handle or by other means so 500 million naira an apology and also restraining yabo ojo from ever in her life reporting anything that has to do with naramali on her official page or any other page so yabo ojo is yet to respond because this money I think it was yesterday night, this morning, that yeah, that the news came out. So I don't think Yabo Ojo may have seen the defamation or received the defamation letter because the defamation letter was only released on the internet. So we don't know if they have sent it to Yabo Ojo. Yabo Ojo have received it. We do not know. But if you check, uh, if you analyze the whole issue very well concerning Bobad Naramali as a den, eh, you won't blame Yabo Ojo. You know why? Mobad himself, Mobad himself, before Mobad buy the whole issue, he said, if anything should happen to him, they should hold Naramali and the record label responsible. So Mobad already indicted Naramali. That was the reason why, after Mobad buy, all eyes was on Naramali and Malia record, Samlari, and all of them. Because Mubad already made such statement. So, Yabo Ojo might just simply go to court and say, the reason why they decided to call out Naramali was because Mubad said this and that. And there is a record, a video record of Mubad saying they should hold Naramali responsible. Someone that died already told you who to hold responsible for if anything should happen to him. And after that person died, you immediately hold that person he said they should hold responsible. You are not liable for anything. I don't know how the, the court work, but if I am Yabojo, that will be my defense. That will be my defense. And again, the matter is in court. Naramali is not entirely free to go. Is still under investigation. He cannot leave Niger. So how is that even uh, Yabo Ojo consigned? Let the court clear Naramali. 
let the police claim the Naramale of any wrongdoings. Then, hey, they can decide to start coming for help. All those one, eh, is not going to go far according to the way I see it too. And again, I already, I already said that. Okay, I know Naramali. We cannot entirely, entirely say Naramali is guilty. But if you check the scenario, Naramali wasn't around when the whole issue happened. Samnari wasn't around. People say, oh, it was calculated. Uh, it was calculated scenario. They already calculated it. Well, he wasn't around when the whole scenario happened, and Samnari wasn't around when the whole issue happened. You know, the whole uh, focus was on Naramali. Then later on, we discovered that the family of Mobade, they are one of the most greediest family on earth. Hmm? Greed, wickedness, no love between them. Then we start shifting our attention to Mobad's wife, to Mobad's father, and to the nurse, I have a prime boy. I still think prime boy is innocent. Prime boy just had a fight with uh, Mobad. That's all. Even Mobad brother said that one are correct with me. That one be strong one. Nobody said that kind of before. I will say it because <laughs> the testimony he gave at the corona inquest uh, he shows that this guy had no correct. Honestly speaking, whoever gonna listen to that guy be like, what? You said crime boy is guilty of Mobad's death, and yet you said you were not there when crime boy and Mobad fought, and yet you said Mobad was very, very okay. The day before the nurse, the day, that same day before the nurse came to that house, that you and you also said Mobad and his wife are the quarry. That same day over Canadian visa. But all and all, because Mobad wife woman narrated the fight between uh, Prime Boy and, uh, and uh, Mobad to you, you automatically just found Prime Boy beauty. And meanwhile, Wumbi said when Prime Boy and Mobile were having an argument, he came, she came out to start calling other people. Before she came back, the fight was already over. <laughs> Wumbi never even really witnessed the fight. So you see the ah, I thought say that guy no correct. Eh? Why are you guys blaming or you know said person like Prime Boy? Prime Boy had nothing. Now no, no way to not do that uh, Mobad. And meanwhile, that Mobad case not tired people said. People have already moved on already. It's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. I'm more bad lost though. I'm more bad lost. But that being said, the defamation character, let's see how it's going to go. Let's see what will happen. But meanwhile, let's talk about uh, David who is currently in Asaba. David O now who you they fear. You know the issue between uh David Doe and uh, the former NFF uh, uh, president, Picnic. The issue, when he said he paid the David Doe some uh, dollars, amounting to billions of Nairas, to perform in Asaba, and David Doe refused to show up. The former NFF boss paid him some millions, and uh, David Doe, due to unforeseen circumstances, refused to come. And David Doe said he already informed them that he's not going to come. So unfortunately, uh, on that day of that show, former NFF boss came on stage to criticize David O and said a lot of stuff about David O. And uh, there was kind of like threats made that David O cannot come to Asaba, the entire state to perform. But guess what? When David O can't come yesterday, come Asaba, the entire state can't perform yesterday. If you see security, <laughs> Even president said no guy that can convoy. If you see security, security yakba. You see the convoy, security were all over the place because of that threat. Well, they performed there yesterday uh, night, and uh, the performer was okay, no issue, no insecurity, nothing at all. So those threats that were made never came to pass. And David do make do to make sure he perform in Asaba. So David do go post that and say, see, no matter what anybody talk, because I wait if I talk with that, say, if any, no matter anybody talk, he must perform for Asaba. And they perform there with no issue at all. No fight, no talk, 
no quarry, no issue, everything went smoothly. So you can easily call them, you don't match a lot of <laughs> For performing as a bar, despite all odds. Performing as a bar and nothing still happened. Hmm? Nothing happened. Big up to David Odo. Nothing still happened. I was thinking maybe ah, they for touch David Odo small to let her know say ah, you don't come here, you know supposed to come. Oh, see, we warn you, me will not come this place. See, we tell you, me will not come this place. But you don't see enter, you are not supposed to enter. But nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. David Odo came, performed, and he left there. So guys, so let me know exactly how you feel concerning what we discussed about uh, the most importantly with Nara Mali and the Yabo Ojo. Do you think, you know, we have seen so many entertainers and suing other entertainers for defamation of character. But at the end, you know the past. Everybody just want sign defamation of character, but they know one want pursue her. So with Nara Mali pursue this defamation of character, knowing very fully well that the police haven't even cleared him yet. The police have not even cleared him yet. Hmm? 500 million naira. No, it's, it's something called millions, 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 millions. So let's see what will happen. And again, you know, Ayabo Ojo made an accusation a part that is different from Mubas' case. When she said that Nara Mali drug her daughter and her son when they visited. You know, that allegations, we do not know much about that. So let me know exactly how you feel, guys. Let me know if you are supporting Nara Mali or supporting Yabojo or supporting Davido or the former NFL chairman.